I've been here for three hours because I'm an idiot. I didn't realise that my first flight is domestic. My second flight, I must do passport control before I get on that one. Never mind, it's almost time to board. Hooray. Uh, so I'm in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Um, I don't really know where exactly I am in Montreal at the moment. I'm, I think I'm heading towards what they call Old Montreal. Um, I've walked a little bit of the way out of the main city, which is sort of over there, I guess, which is where I'm staying. Um, yeah, I'm here for three sort of full days. I don't really know what I'm going to do for three days, to be honest. I'm a little bit like... Well, I don't speak French, so I try not to speak to people <laughs> for the most part. I just sort of have a few phrases that I that I sort of try and remember, but other than that, I don't really know. Um, I guess I'll go to Old Montreal and then see what's there. I'm going to find some food because I'm hungry. Um, and then I'll probably head back towards the city and just look at shops and stuff, I guess. Um, yeah. So I found old Montreal and this is where all the tourists are. So I guess I'm in the right place. Um, it's nice but I also don't want to go into any shops because I have no space in my luggage to buy anything else. So I'm just going to find some food. Oh, and the water's down there. Maybe I'll have a look. I had some poutine for lunch because I needed that to be the first meal I had in Canada. And it was alright. I felt like I was going to fall like asleep afterwards so I've just been um, sitting here for we're well, lying here for I don't know half an hour or so because um, it's really like the sun's got quite a bit of heat but it's cold <laughs> at the same time so it's not too bad in the sun like I think it's meant to be eight degrees maximum today so I don't know what that's like 50 just under 50 maybe no about 50 or maybe a bit more whatever so it's not warm definitely but it's nice in the sun um i don't know what i'm gonna do now i guess i'm gonna head back towards the city and look at some shops <gasps> oh a pie of me fuck me okay um i'm gonna see if i can buy some epsom salts actually because there's a spa bath in my room which i had no idea of when i booked it but my shoulders are killing me, especially after carrying all my stuff here yesterday. So, I'm going to see if I can get some Epsom salts and I might have a nice spa bath. And I can watch the television in my freaking bathroom. I have to do a, um, a tour, like a hotel room tour, because it's a freaking sweet hotel room. Alright, I'm going to go do something now. I found a couple of really big boats. Freak me out. I don't know, just looking at boats, like, submerged, it freaks me out, or semi submerged. I don't know why, it's just a weird phobia I've had in forever. Um, check out these, like, I guess they're apartments? I don't know, but it's a little bit different. And the water looks so nice, because the sun's, like, sparkling on it. I don't know if you can see. And there's children. Of course. There's some guys back there that are giving away some Cirque du Soleil um, information brochures because there's a Cirque du Soleil thing going on, I guess. He was speaking French to me and I thought I could just maybe nod and say mercy at the end and he wouldn't realise. I had no idea what he was saying. But then I think he asked me a question so I had to be like, sorry, I don't know what you just said for the last few minutes. Um, and then he had to say it all over again. And there's some silos there. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking. So I guess this is some sort of microphone thing. So I guess these things over here are empty. And if you talk into it. Hello. Nope. That's the wrong one. Maybe if I pay attention to what it says. Cool. This is like the most boring um, vlog ever, so I'm sorry, but 
it's hours later now. So I came home. Well, actually, I um, I went to Shoppers, which is like the um, Canadian pharmacy sort of thing. So I wanted to buy some Epsom salts, like I said. I don't know if you can... Oh, no, you can't see any good. Um, I wanted to buy some Epsom salts, and I so I had an Epsom salt bath, and my shoulders still really hurt. Um, I don't think I've told you guys, but... Um, well, I've been having problems with my neck and my shoulders getting sort of really tense anyway, but um, I was in South Carolina a week ago, I guess, and I was in a, um, a minor taxi... Um, taxi car accident so um, a car behind us ran into us at a red light and um, that get, I got a sprained neck from that and I had to use uh, muscle relaxants and stuff but anyway so my shoulders and my neck have been worse since then which is great um, so I thought an Epsom salt bath might help especially after sort of carrying all my bags and stuff here yesterday and and especially moving sort of boxes downstairs blah 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 anyway Epsom salt bath didn't really do much but it was really nice anyway um the other things I bought I just bought some sort of snacks and whatever um but I also got there should be three of these little suckers in here there there is the third one um I've already got this one and I'm not going to open it and swatch it for you because this is from my friend Rhiannon actually so it's a Quo electric eyes pencil and this is in the color spark and it's sort of just an opalescent um, colour. I will open another one for you. I got one of these each for us because um, I didn't have this one. Um, it's in the colour Charge. Let me just open it up and I'll do a swatch for you. And there's a swatch of Charge. So as you can see, it's really sort of opalescent, which is why I'm in love with it. And I've got swatches from earlier on my hand still. Um, Spark looks really similar to this, except this one's obviously got a green tinge to it. Um, they don't have a great staying power, but I mean, if you're sort of happy with a creased look, I guess, if you wanted to wear it sort of as an all over, you could sort of do a glossy eye with it, um, wear it over some other cream eyeshadow or whatnot. Um, anyway, I came back here. Um, I've just been on online, basically. It's been good to not have to worry. Well, I mean, I had to spend $15 to go get on the internet here for, for a day. Um, so I wanted to make the most out of it. So actually, at the moment, um, I've just bought tickets to go see Ramstein. Um, I've never actually seen them. And I have been a fan for quite a while, so I've got a, like a nosebleed ticket, which I think is in this blue area up here somewhere. Um, yeah, so that's uh, two nights away. It's my last night here, so... That's my only plan at the moment. Um, I might check out what they call the underground city tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I'll find out more about it and I'll, um, I'll blog about it if I go there. So I've done like basically no filming for the last two days. Um, so I figured it's my last night in Montreal. It's about, I don't even know what time it is, midnight or a bit later. Um, and. I'm going to at least do a quick room tour so you can sort of see the hotel I'm staying at. It's called um, Hotel Vogue and it's part of the Lowe's chain, L-O-E-W-S. So I guess there's a whole bunch of them around the place, but um, the one in Montreal is called Ho Hotel Vogue. It's on Rue de la Montaigne, which is sort of in the sort of downtown area and it's sort of like a luxury boutique -y hotel, I guess. I don't really know, but anyway. It's a very nice hotel. I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. Um, all the hotels in Montreal are quite expensive, so I'm glad that I sort of at least got my money's worth. So this is the bathroom, and this is me um, in my pyjamas. Um, so as you can see, very nice. Um, there's a bit of my junk still here. Spa bath, which was awesome. I, had, I already said this like a million times, but I had some really sore shoulders after sort of carrying all my stuff here so I bought some Epsom salts and I just had a couple of nice baths while watching the television. Um, shower which is a very nice shower it gets really hot though which I think has made me really itchy because I keep having really hot showers. It feels so good at the time but afterwards it, it feels like shit. Um, cupboard which I haven't actually opened I don't think. Oh there's another robe in there. Cool. And this is the main area. Um, there's a bit of my mess still here, but there's a, a Keurig coffee machine, which is good. I like Keurig. Um, 
although it was having problems this morning, it wasn't working, but eventually it worked. Um, television, nice big area, a couple lots of flowers from when I got room service because I am lazy. Um, you won't be able to see anything out here because it is very late, but you can sort of see um, down to Rue uh, de la Montaigne. And this is just a lounge here, which I've just dumped my junk on and clothes for tomorrow, so I have to get up nice and early and king bed, which is nice. So this is actually the cheaper, oh, I've got some biscuits there, I should throw them out. I think this is their cheaper room. I guess they have a premium queen as well, but I got a premium king, so um, I got one up from, I guess, the, the lowest one and like honestly I would, I'm very happy with it I wouldn't even bother paying more to get a deluxe or whatever the next one is um, because this is pretty amazing um, I'm a bit blind though I can't really see the television when I'm lying in bed so I have to wear my glasses because it's a bit bit of a wear away um, anyway yeah so I would recommend it the only sort of downside is that with a lot of these luxury hotels you actually have to pay for the internet, which is $15 per day per device, um, which wouldn't have been a big deal for me if I had been in America because I would have used my LTE on my iPad and um, I would have used my, my 3G on my phone, but I'm in Canada and neither of them work, so I have had to pay for Wi-Fi um, on my laptop and I've just been using, um, they've got free Wi-Fi downstairs in the lobby, but yeah, it's been okay. I've sort of found Wi-Fi in different shops and whatnot in different shopping centres to use on my phone, so it's, it hasn't been too bad. Um, yeah, I should go to bed. Uh, I went and saw Ramstein tonight and that was pretty ridiculous. Um, I've never seen them live, although I have had, um, I think I bought Mata, it must have been like when I was 18 or so, so it's like almost 10 years ago. Um, and me and my mum used to love that album, we used to play it all the time. Um, yeah, so they played a lot because it's a greatest hits tour, I think. So they played a lot from that. Seeing as far as I know, that has been their most, their biggest album to date. Yeah, it was crazy. I had nosebleed seats, but it was still awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go to bed and I'll probably speak to you guys when I get to San Francisco tomorrow. Um, my flight's just after 8. So I'm going to have to leave here about 6 in the morning, which is not that far away but at least I'm packed. Hooray, I talk to you later.